So now in this video we're going to look at the NPN bipolar junction transistor wired as a switch. So it's either on and the LED is lit there or it's off and the LED is not lit there. So we're going to come back to using the 555 timer. So I haven't done uh, this particular NPN bipolar junction transistor switch uh, circuit before but uh, this shows a better reason why you would use a transistor. When we did the 555 timer videos, when the output was high, we had the uh, resistor and LED going directly from there to ground, and it lit up okay. It was, it was perfectly fine. But let's say we don't want that voltage limit. So the output does not output the full supply voltage of 5 volts. It does go to ground when it goes low. It makes a direct connection. So this resistor and LED will have 5 volts across it when the output's low. When it goes high, then if there's a resistor and LED there, it only puts about 3.5 volts across it. And again, for what we were doing, it was just fine. But let's say it's not. Let's say for whatever reason, we need 5 volts across the resistor and LED. Well, we can send a small amount of current from the uh, base to emitter there, from the output resistor base to emitter, and it's going to let a multiple amount of current through. I'm going to guess about 200 times as much current. So even though this is a high value a resistor, it's not about 200 times as high as that one. We should have enough current going through. Remember we'll have about 3 volts across it because that's 3.5 volts, but this is a diode drop right here, base to emitter. It's uh, kind of like the LED drops voltage. Uh, pretty much the same thing, except for it's lower, about 0.6 volts. So we'll have about 3 volts across the resistor. Small current, but enough to have where 200 times as much going through will be more than what the LED and resistor are going to limit it to. So we're going to have pretty much 5 volts across the LED and the resistor there, which we would not have just having the output of the 555 timer alone. So we got 5 volts across there, 5 volts when it's on, 5 volts across there when it's on. Blue LED is just naturally brighter. So even though it has one-fourth the current because it has four times the resistance approximately, the blue LED is going to be about the same brightness as the red LED in this setup. So let's get to uh, doing that on the board. First I'll show the transistor. If I put it like this, flat side facing us, the collector is on top, base in the middle, and emitter is at the uh, bottom right there. So now here we have the circuit almost completely uh, built. We have a resistor right there that's a 4.7 kilo ohms, 4,700 ohms, and it comes to that uh, diode and the other resistor. So the diode's going to let current go through relatively uh, freely to the 10 kilo ohm resistor when it is charging. And then when it's discharging, it's going to go through this other 4,700 ohm resistor to the discharge pin. So the uh, Charge and discharge isn't going to be exactly the same amount of time, but uh, somewhat close to the same amount of time. Now, we have the uh, transistor there. So if I turn it that way, emitter's at the bottom, base in the middle, and the collector on top. So the base, the middle pin going to that resistor right there, the uh, 10 kilo ohm, we saw that value earlier, emitter down there, and then the collector, the uh, top pin, is going to the cathode of the LED right there. Remember you got to put these in the right direction for them to conduct the anode more positive right there. So in any case we've gone all over all that before we'll zoom back and the uh, power supply is set to 5 volts right there and when I hit the uh, power button I'll zoom back so we can see everything that sets the output on and you can see that the LEDs are going to alternate and they're going to take a fair amount of time. I wired this up to go slow so that we could look at the voltages. Also, the capacitor starts off at zero volts. It takes a little bit longer to charge the first flash. I didn't think about that. So in any case, as we said before, we, uh, I don't want that on the display. We have the oscilloscope clips right there. We're going to first measure this at the ground and then we'll zoom back, look at the oscilloscope. We'll see that we have 5 volts at the uh, supply right there. And it's paused. There we go. So there we go. We got 5 squares for 5 volts. If I go directly to the output, we have 3.5 volts. So now, the voltage across the resistor and LED is not in relationship 
to uh, ground, zero volts. So I'm going to take the red alligator clip, put it to the resistor, and the blue one, and put it to the LED. So now, since the bl blue uh, little jumper there is not at ground, it's picking up noise. So it's not a zero volt reference point of the circuit. And so it's picking up stray voltages. But in uh, any case, there you can see now across the resistor and the LED, we are getting up to pretty much five volts right there. So probably losing just a speck across the transistor because it's not conducting perfectly. Now we can take the, uh, yeah, should be able to see that okay. I'll put this up here to where the blue LED is and then come down to the output there. And one thing you notice is that it doesn't drop all the way to zero volts. That's because we had that about a volt and a half that it's fallen short of the supply voltage. So the red one is up to the supply voltage. But uh, that's also the LED influencing it. What we'll do is zoom in a little bit. I will bypass the LED, just put the resistor to the uh, positive supply right there. And I missed the output. There we go. And now you can see across the resistor we're going about 5 volts down to about 0 volts right there. So we got that. But in uh, any case, there you can see. Our goal was to get 5 volts across the LED, red LED, when the output is high. And we accomplished that. So that's what the NPN bipolar junction transistor is good for. A high input signal that is weak for whatever reason, not enough voltage not enough current, whatever the problem is, you can just use it to, as a signal, that output, to turn the transistor on fully, and you get the 5 volts across the LED. We saw that, so we accomplished our goal. And uh, the main goal, though, is to learn what the NPN bipolar junction transistor switch is. So hopefully that all made sense. Check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That will help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.